Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina93 here. Welcome to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Part 3. So, let's get started. Now we're going to the second dungeon. Of course, it is desert oriented. Uh, better watch out for those statues that throw eye lasers at you. And the worms as well. But watch out for that quicksand. There's a button in there, what's the point of lighting up those? Even if you light the mob, what's the point? I know some puzzles can be very tricky. Since we got the map, I better watch out for that. Get a big key. I hate those statues that throw eye lasers at you. They're so annoying. Oh, no, 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 no! <sighs> I guess if you go outside, you can pick up the, the heart piece. Yep, there it is. Now time. Yeah, you need something to pick up these rocks or stones, whatever they are. Yep, nothing.
went there. Maybe if I get rid of those enemies, uh, I guess... There we go. Alright. Nothing? Even if I got rid of the enemies, there was nothing there. At least I got a key here. A compass, right? There we go, the boss key. Is now we can go to I do remember that this dungeon you get those gauntlets to pick up rocks and stones and the blocks I remember that AVGN used for one of these episodes, but for this game. At least this is a, this is a real power block. Okay. Now we have to go to this area we haven't been through yet. Ugh. I was about to get it sucked by the quicksand. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is the first floor. There we go. We just have to push one, one of these blocks. There's a key. Maybe if I get rid of those flying squares and go after you, maybe something will happen, I guess. Maybe 
not. Uh, we better continue. I don't think I'm missing something. Point of light enough. If there, there's light. Ah, uh, these guys can be very annoying. Okay, I just need more hearts for this. Maybe I can do this. Alright then. Wake up. Yeah, that is a point. There we go. Now let's go to the boss. The giant worms. I remember. Yeah, this spin attack can work too. Get out from the dirt. They go inside the dirt. Or the sand. Water. They just get into the sand and they get out. There are three in total. Maybe they throw pebbles at you. Yeah. And I'm wondering why I'm getting hit if I'm staying away from, from these worms. Yeah. Ah, oh, no!
No, I need hearts. Ugh. All right, here we go. No more distractions this time. Better watch out for those pebbles. Ah. Five minutes later. Maybe where the bombs can work. It's because those stupid worms throw pebbles at you! Okay, one more left. Oh no! Now, now this guy throws multiple bad pebbles. I was gonna say marbles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Didn't expect to struggle. But at least we got the second pendant. <laughs> oh man. dungeon it is um, at the top of the mountain now 
we can get out of the desert. And you also can pick up bigger, bigger stones. In this section you only get more rupees. You get out and you get inside and you can get more rupees if you want. That's what I did all the time for this game. When I need more rupees. Rupees. But we cannot pick up these, these black stones as of yet. some hard pieces. Okay, here you need a bomb because there's a crack on the wall. I did in the wrong way. Yeah, 23 seconds. I wasn't gonna make it this time. top you need a hammer but I I don't have it as of yet same gear yeah we're gonna collect some hard pieces we can find some
Yeah, at the north, um, there's there is the Lost Woods, and there you see the Master Sword on the Lost Woods. But first, you need three pendants of power to able to get the Master Sword. At first, I thought the Master Sword was first um, introduced in an Ocarina of Time, but it was um, in this game after all. And that's because uh, the trophy description of Master Sword on Super Smash Bros. Melee it fooled me that it was Ocarina of Time first, but it wasn't the case here. But it wasn't the case. There we got the mushroom. Yeah, there it is, the heart piece. Hmm. Yeah, one of these holes. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna get out of the Lost Woods. I supposed to get that heart piece? Come on, a bomb out of nowhere. Since this is just a game, it doesn't matter if you break the pots uh, from the strangers' houses. We're not gonna go to the dead maps in Asif yet. There we go. A heart piece. One more to form a full heart. Get the Zora flippers, so we can so we can be able to swim. Ugh. 
Zoras unlike the other kind of time. Those are the enemies. Good thing I have enough rupees to to pay for the flippers. With the exception of this Zora, all the Zoras throughout the game are the enemies. There we go, now we can swim. Able to swing faster, you just press A. Now we can get this hard piece. Ah, oh, but not that way. Trying to remember how to get this hard piece. Oh 
Oh, maybe the shield? Yes, I did drop the, the shield. Yeah, this pawn, it enhances some of the items you have. To make them better, I meant to say. Okay, um, I just threw the, the shield. Maybe I can throw the boomerang? Yep, the magic boomerang. Or a magical boomerang. Hmm. Maybe I can throw the bow and arrow? I guess. Yes. Did nothing. <laughs> yeah, as of right now, the the boomerang and and the shield. Now let's go to Dead Mountain. Let's see if I can find something here. After all, Zelda is all about exploration. You can't go in there? Not here either. this up.
Sure. Why not? Yes, I know. Oh yeah, Magic Mirror. Yeah, in the game, you transport to the other dimension. Besides the light world, there is a dark world. This is like a maze. There's a heart piece at the top. You get transported to the dark world. For some strange reason, you're a rat.
You just use a mirror and there we go. Okay. You just have to make sure to use it in the right spot. Okay guys, we have to leave it here. See you in part 4 everybody.